So 2022 is finished now. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a trip down memory lane and have a look at some of my favorite photographs from the year, along with some of the most memorable moments that went with them. Now, down in the description, I've put chapters for each of the videos we're gonna be watching, and you'll also be able to find a link to the video itself. So if you missed any, or wanna go check it out again, you'll be able to do that down in the description. All right, so grab yourself a cup of tea, get settled in, and let's start off with my first stop of 2022, which was the very impressive Purling Brook Falls, where there was a lot of water going on. And uh, maybe throughout this, have a count how many times I managed to get wet. I am getting so wet here. <laughs> Well, I am thoroughly soaked. Look at me, head to toe. Absolutely sobbing wet. It is absolutely teeming down now. Most of the time I've been out, it hasn't been raining very much, but it's bucketing down now. So this has been one of the most challenging photographic experiences I've ever had. Um, from how difficult it's been to walk around here to um, navigating the creek and you know not going tumbling in. down here at Corumban for my first uh, sunrise of the year. Um, <laughs> it's a challenging one because it's high tide at the moment and there's quite a lot of water so uh, it's uh, don't look away and don't take the hand off the camera. And miraculously the sun did make an appearance for a few minutes to bathe the land and sea in this wonderful warm light. Just sand flies everywhere. It's just sand fly city. Oh man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this much longer. I can't do it. They're everywhere. I've never had such bad sand flies and oh yeah, I'm getting eaten. Sand flies and me are not good. I don't know if you can see. I end up with marks on me for days. I'm better with mosquitoes. Oh man. Oh, which...
to this beautiful spot. How nice is the color of this water? one of the few places I know on the Gold Coast where there will usually be mist in the morning in winter. There is a lot of water if you have a look. It's very flooded out here and I think it's quite deep even though I do have some new gumboots. New gumboots have been gotten.
just stopped at this beautiful spot to have lunch um, and there's some I thought it was at first it was rain but I think it's actually some low cloud coming through um, the valley there so I may have to uh, stop and take some photos particularly if there's any breaks in the cloud above to let some sun shine through check that out you cannot complain about that view wet and pretty chilly now and I cannot wait to get home and have a hot shower it's gonna be awesome hot showers seriously are one of the best things in the world ever Danny is the most patient person. As long as he's got a book or a paper or something, he just happily sits down and reads and waits for me. As long as there's a beer at the end of the day waiting for him, he's all good. <laughs> Antarctic beech trees have to be one of the most impressive trees that I've ever experienced. Their knobbly, gnarly, exposed roots and their twisty, contorted branches sweeping up into the sky are so impressive. And the fact that they can be thousands of years old just makes encountering one an awe-inspiring and quite humbling experience. It's amazing up here. Very thankful Danny's here because he got me into spots to take photos that I would never be going by myself. It would freak me out. <laughs> so he's much more nimble and sure-footed than I am.
he thinks that this looks like the Tower of Barad the, from Lord of the Rings. In miniature. In miniature. I've got to say, I often find wet days to be the days when I enjoy being out the most. There's something about being out in the rain that makes you feel alive. Like you're experiencing the world and nature and everything, I don't know, has got a different look to it in the rain as well. So, man, get out there. Get dressed appropriately, but get out there, it's fun. and overwhelmed. That is not the time to take every piece of kit that I own in an attempt to take the perfect picture to restore my inspiration. That way is doomed to fail. Instead, it's when I need to free myself of both gear and expectations to head out with just a single lens and a camera, having a wander to see what captures my attention. I first came here about six months ago to see a magnificent waterfall and rock pool. But I knew I'd have to come back because the creek along the way was just so beautiful. I think this really could be landscape photographer's paradise. was my year of 2022 and some of my favorite photographs now stick around to the very end because I've put a few uh, of my fails in at the end to share with you some got seen and some this will be the first time that they've been shown now thank you so much for all your support through the year now whether you're somebody who leaves comments whether you give me the thumbs up or whether you just watch my videos and enjoy them, I am incredibly grateful to have you sharing my journey with me. 
videos have brought me so much enjoyment making. Uh, I used to be one of these people that would get caught up waiting for the perfect conditions. <laughs> it started. It started raining, and now it's 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 uh, gonna kick off. This is this is very fitting. Um, I used to wait for the perfect conditions, and it used to mean that I didn't get out there very much. And making these videos has really helped me to make sure that I get out there no matter what the weather is doing, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and, you know, we, we're all into landscape photography because we love the outdoors and we love nature. And so for me, that's the most important thing. And if you come home and you have some great photos, that's a bonus. But just being able to get out and enjoy yourself and reconnect and recharge I think is is what it's all about so I'm very thankful to have you here with me I hope I'm able to give you some inspiration to make sure you get out there yourself and uh, get enjoying the world around you and I really look forward to sharing my journey in 2023 with you and uh, I better get a move on now because I'm getting quite wet just for something different <laughs> okay oh by the way, I've got a new and exciting toy that I hope is going to um, enhance a lot of my videos that I'm able to bring with you. So keep an eye out for my next one when uh, I should be getting out to use it for the first time. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. It's always good when you do a whole piece to camera and you forget to actually record the audio. <laughs> well done, well done. Oh, there's nothing better than doing uh, an entire shot of B-roll of walking down the stairs and going all the way to the bottom and coming all the way back up for your GoPro and realizing you didn't press record. Excellent work there, excellent work. Now, I didn't actually go, well, I, well, this is not true. I've, I've forgotten what I'm saying. What am I saying? <laughs> to say seriously what, what am I trying to say oh, you think after three years I could actually speak properly but no by the way this rain is why I usually wear a hat because as you can see I can't see very much once it starts raining and my glasses get wet so yes that's a lot of the reason why I normally wear a hat when I'm out. And of course, I thought I'm only going to be out for 10 minutes today. And uh, yeah, it's not going to rain. Should be right, mate. Don't need that hat. <laughs> Always wear your hat. Second thing to notice is I forgot my hat. Uh, which is a little bit annoying. You get sun bursts and stuff, but uh, provided it doesn't rain, will be okay. It's when it rains that I really need it because otherwise my glasses get all wet and I can't see a thing. So uh, at least I have my camera and my memory card. So that's always a bonus. Always a bonus. I have gone camping before and not brought any memory cards with me. Yep. I've just, I've been rabbiting on, haven't I? Rabbit, rabbit. <laughs>